And we are back with more Lost Eden. Uh, so, we are at the egg of, uh, whatever Eli called it. Never lose heart, Lord Adam. Marcus Rex can be defeated. I'm sure he can. He's a video game character, of course he can. Um, are we lost? No, we are at the egg. So, let's see what Monk has to say. You appear to be having some difficulty finding your way, my lord. No, I don't. I'm at the end. I think it's you, you old man. Fargo. And he never says anything different. <laughs> so, here we are at the egg of destiny, I think it was called. So let's pick it up. Put it in our inventory. Great. So, Monk's argument is to keep the egg for ourselves. But Eve's argument is to give it to Eloy and his people. So I'm gonna just see what Eve has to say about it. It's a dinosaur egg, Adam. Yeah, no crap. Let's see what Monk has to say about it. A dinosaur egg? Is that all? I thought we'd find something interesting. Some mighty weapon to fight the tyrant. Come on, if a human found a, if a human found a dinosaur egg now. Not hungry now. If a human found a dinosaur egg now, they'd be like, oh my god! Let's see what Shazzy has to say. Give it to someone else. Oh! Shut your mouth. Alright, so we are gonna give it to Eloy, that's what we have to do. Thank you! My lord, you have restored Oops. the honor of my family, and to me you have given the home I have never seen. No words can express the joy in my heart at this moment. I accidentally skipped that uh, first text by pressing down in the inventory, but basically he just said thanks, it's a great gift. I trust you will not regret such generosity, my lord. The caution your father exhibited is sometimes the best policy, you know. The egg must go to the White Arch, my lord. You returned it to me. We must go together to the city of the Pterodactyls. Let's do that then. So, now we have to go to the White Arch seen in that tablet. So, let's go out of the maze. And we have to again use Chalcia to find our way through, which is really annoying. Turn, Turn left, okay. So... Where now, Shazia? Where now? I'll actually say it was right here. I'm just going to take a wild guess. Yep, that was right. It's basically the opposite of what it was before, obviously. So turn right. I think it'll be straight ahead here. But I don't know. I'll better ask the mistress of this maze. Go straight ahead. Oh, would you look at that? I was right. <laughs> Now, as far as I know, we don't have to come back through this labyrinth again, but, actually, do we? I think we do at the end of the game, we have to come through this. Alright, alright. I think at the end of the game, we do have to come through this labyrinth one more time. But I'm not 100% on that. Again, sorry for any lag in the recording. I've got the bitrate in the recording as high as it can go at 9,000. Um, uh, it's not at the highest quality it can go, but um, it's at low quality and then there's DVD quality. Turn right. But as far as I remember, the DVD quality kind of didn't like... Uh, my, my laptop didn't seem to like the DVD quality option before when I first got this program for some reason. So I may do a test video on it one time, but I think it might. I think what it does is it makes the file size a lot bigger. So I don't know. I think I might just stick to this. It's watchable, laggy a little bit, yes, but not to the extent that it's game breaking. Uh, here we go. We've reached the uh, the end now. Well, the beginning technically. So, we need to go to the White Arch, so let's go out the Citadel. Actually, I want to see Jabba, see how he's doing. After Monk's ferocious nastiness. Let's see what he has to say. Okay. Uh, didn't say much. Can he blow the horn? 
Finny. Nah, we already gave him a horn anyway, didn't we? So we didn't want another one. So we've still got two tablets left to find as well. One of them is at the White Arch, obviously, and one of them is is in Marcus Rex's lair. Show me where you want to go. So let's go to ah the Great White Arch. Ah, I love this music as well. Oh, lag! Stop it! And there is the great, the great white watch, the great white arch, the home of the pterodactyls. As you can see, there's plenty of them. I always love this place. It's really quite a beautiful place. So here we go. I must return the egg to its nest alone, my lord. I will not be gone long. Oh, you're always going anyway. You're always off somewhere, so you might as well. Alright, so, what do we do? <laughs> this this area always confused me. I think we just talked so, to people. Brother, what next? No clue. I think we just talked to you lot. You're a lot better to look at than Thug. Ooh, I'd say that's a compliment. I think she's flirting with those guys. Time passes swiftly. My lord, Morcus Rex laughs at us while we deliver eggs to dinosaurs. Now, can these pterodactyls help us crush the tyrant? They neither fight nor build. Don't knock the pterodactyls. I love pterodactyls. I must look say. Dark open. Of course. You always say that. You are not. All right, stop flirting. So now we talk to Monk. Eloy is coming back. The name of Eloy is once more honored, and the egg of destiny has been returned. When the moment comes, the egg will be hatched. The egg will be hatched. I beg you, my lord, it is time to consider more pressing matters. My lord, wait. Ooh. The pterodactyls of the White Arch wish to offer you this gift as a token of their gratitude. Why is there no gap between White and Arch there? There's no space. Oh well, strange. I've learned something which may help. You are already aware of the importance of the square tablets. Their secrets are known by the spirits of our ancestors who dwell in the Valley of Mists. I have heard of the Valley of Mists, Adam. It is a place where dinosaurs go after death. There they remain in peace. Throughout eternity. That's a jolly image. But it is said that none who enter the valley may return to the living. It is a place for dinosaurs. No human may set foot there. Yep. You speak wisely, Monk, but there is a way for humans to enter the valley. They must eat the deadly root of ages. Which is obviously what we have to do. To speak with the Great Father, my lord, you must go beyond death. Where can we find the root, Eloy? The Castra are said to have the last of it. Oh great, we have to go back to them. Great, okay, let's go then. We don't need to look through that tablet because it all we'll see is ourselves, because now we have both of them. Show me where you want to go. It's the same when Marcus Rex, though, it's the same or when the Castra had the other one, or when the Pterodactyls had the other one of these. It's the same. In, it goes works in reverse. If Marcus Rex looked through his ver his sister tablet of this one, he'd be able to see us, just like we could see him. So where are we going? Cantura? Yeah. Cantura. Here we come. Maybe, Maybe you'll, you'll see, see Dina. Dina. Take flight. There's Eloy, and there he goes with his pterodactyl friends. Oh, I love pterodactyls. So also guys, at this point I am coming up to 1000 total video views, which I am happy about. In fact, probably by the time this video is posted, I would have um, oh, a bit of lag there. I would have probably uploaded this, sorry, um, yeah, I would have uploaded this a long time after a thousand views, but at this point I'm up to about 990 view total views on my channel. And there's, on these map screens there's always quite a lot of lag, so I apologise for that. As you can see there, the Triceratops are helping. Actually, I want to go to the... I want to show you guys what it looks like to have a Triceratops fully built Citadel. See what I mean? As big as the one in Mo. 
I wasn't kidding. <laughs> I was not joking. I will go with you in the valley. Our keep is quickly becoming a fortress. No tyrant can destroy. So, this is what it looks like. We can't enter it, unfortunately, but... That's what it looks like to have a fully built... Uh, I think it's fully built, that anyway. It's fully built uh, citadel. So, let's go back to the Castra and ask them about the Root of Ages. Welcome, friend of Dina. Thank you. Oh, lag. Now you deserve the Root of Ages. But if you plan to eat it, then you must do so only at the White Arch. This looks horrible. Why would you want to eat that? I am so sad to hear of your father's death, Adam. He was a fine man who only did what he felt was best for his people. I suppose. Adam, you will be known as the great savior of our world. I hope so. That's what I'm aiming for. Alright, I get it. So, out we go. Show me Back to the White Arch. Ah. Ah. And they're playing the Tyran music, of course. Skip that. And now, I'm going to drop a save here. Now this part, I always got confused at when I was a kid. This part in the Great Valley of Mists or whatever. May the spirit of Jelana walk with you, brother. Thank you. Never lose heart, Lord Adam. Marcus Rex. Yes. I'm going to look through this just to see what Marcus Rex has to say to us at this point. Just randomly. I don't know. Yeah, it's not showing Mongo's head anymore. Oh, still alive. but we haven't spoken through that this whole game, so you know. Well, that was interesting. Oh, Adam. I thought I wouldn't be afraid, but I am. What if you die? Don't worry, Eve. It's a video game. Thug open! Whoa, what? Why doesn't he show his uh, concern? Idiot thug. Got a one-track mind. I advise you not to eat that root, my lord. Why don't you eat it then? There you go. Don't throw your life away, my lord. Nobody returns from the dead. Well, we'll soon see about that. I don't like anything about that root. But if you have to eat it... I do, I'm afraid. Let's see if Thug, Let's see if thug eats it. Root kill! Well, at least he's got some sense. So let's see what Shazier has to say about it. I won't eat that. Ah, I didn't think, th I didn't think you would, so you're letting your brother eat it instead. The root will take you to the place of the ancestors. Yep, so what we do now, guys, is we gobble it up, of course. Nyom, nyom, nyom. By the gods, my lord, no. You should not have eaten that root. You will die. I would gladly have taken your place. I have a few years left in this life. The king of Mashar is dying. I offered you the root, you didn't take it. Oh. Whoa, this is a bit creepy looking. Yeah, this is a very blurry place, because it's very misty. So, I always got confused in this place, because uh, I never know how to get out of it, or where to go, so... So this is the, uh, the great father, I assume. Oh, lag. Quite a nice scene though, it's a really nice place. Again, looks like a worm. So let's talk to the Great Father. What foolish 
Okay, so again, yeah, it says the same stuff. So this is where I got stuck for a long time. I actually really, really got stuck here. I don't know what to do because if you go back here, it's just this area again. You go forward, it's just back here, and he says the same stuff every time. So I'm actually not too sure even now what I'm supposed to do. Okay, do we play a flute tune to him? Alright, alright, alright. Uh, not sure what I'm supposed to do. Um, let's just ask for help. I can't help you here. You must find the great <sighs> father of all dinosaurs. Well, I found him and he's not helping me. See where I got. This is why I got stuck. Because I just don't know what to do. Um. You have learned to oh. gaze through the windows. Truly, Adam of Mo, you are worthy. Wait, so is that what I had to do? Yeah. I will tell you what I know of these tablets. There are six such windows. For that is what they are. Three pairs. Look into one. And you will see through the eyes of its twin. Exactly what I was trying to explain earlier, but I failed. During the old order, when the tablets were united, they were said to hold power beyond imagination. But this power could be turned to good or evil. Some dinosaurs received from them the gift of speaking with humans, and it is said that he who holds all six sees through all illusions. When Morcus Rex began his reign of destruction, the six tablets were separated and scattered throughout the land, lest the tyrant warlord unite them to his own end. So there's a lot of backstory here and a lot of plot, so I hope everyone's keeping up. It's pretty simple really, but hey, uh, confused me as a kid, so yeah. It seems the time approaches when all six must again come together. The tyrant must not be allowed to control such power. You have five of the tablets. The tyrant has the sixth. Yep. I grant you safe passage back to the living Adam of Mo. Go now. Bring peace to your world, young human. Great. So now we're going back to... Wait. Okay, so I think we just go back this way. And then back, yeah. Now we can go back out to the living. There we go. I felt sure you'd come back. The time has come, Adam. The vermin must die. I'll guide you to the tyrant's lair. Adam told us what he'd seen and heard in the Valley of Mists. No other human had ever visited the land of the dead, nor spoken with the great father of the dinosaurs. Well, there's always a first for everything. Alright, so I'm ending the part here because I think the next part will be the final part in this series. Um, so yeah, I hope everyone's enjoyed it so far, uh, don't forget to comment, subscribe, um, like the videos, uh, whatever, do whatever you want, I don't care, well I do care obviously, but you know what I mean. So yeah, I'm going to drop a sa quick save before we go to the uh, Tyrant's Lair, which is obviously um, Marcus Rex's Lair. Okay, so White Arch, Shandora, so game two. So yeah, thanks for watching, bye for now.